Hello everyone, I'm Ma. It's my honor to introduce our paper here. The title is Crash Sim, an efficient algorithm for computing sim rank or static and temporal graphs. I will introduce our paper in the following aspects. The first background. Similarity assessment plays a vital role in our lives. For example, in these graphs, we can assess the similarity of nodes to further recommend items find communities or some other applications. SimRank is a significant metric to measure the similarity of nodes in graph data analysis. It is used to measure node-to-node -node similarity based on the topology of graphs. And the basic assumption is that two nodes will be similar if they are both highly relevant to similar nodes. It also has some forms to compute the SimRank scores. Here we list two relevant forms. The first one is the origin definition. And the second one is the square root C walk. It interprets sim rank between U and V as the probability that WU and WV meet, where WU is the square root C walk start, starting from U. Existing researches mainly focus on SimRun computation over static and dynamic graph and do not fully explore the nature of time in the temporal graphs. It is very important to define SimRun queries in temporal graphs. For example, in the product recommender systems, the items purchased by you might be recommended to other similar users. However, users' interests may change frequently. If we define a group of users where the similarities between this user and you are greater than a threshold continuously for a period of time, the items recommended for such a similar group will be more appropriate. At the same time, the similarity trend between users is also an important prop property. Sometimes the similarity between the user U and V is high at the current time instant, but their similarity reduces. Thus, it may not work worthwhile to recommend use interest items to V. Therefore, in this paper, we design an efficient algorithm, Crash Sim, that can support the sim run computation on both static and temporal graphs. Next, I will show some problem definition. This is the definition of the square root C walk. With this definition, sling algorithm defines SUV as the probability that WU and WV meet, where WU is the square root C walk starting from U. Will the probability algorithm further define SUV as the total probability that WU and WV first meet at each node UI? Since the probability is the current state of art, we adopt this definition to compute the same rank score. Then we formally define the temporal same rank queries. Based on the real applications, we focus on the two most common queries over temporal graphs, namely temporal sim rank trend query and temporal sim rank threshold query. Now uh, I will show our approach. The first is the crash sim algorithm. As mentioned before, the sim rank score SUV is the total probability that WU and WV first meet at each node UI. In the probability algorithm, the graph traverses each node UI to identify any node V that has a non negligible probability to walk to UI, and this process is iterated nr times. This is the traverse tree in the case trio if the square root C walks from A is ABAB. AB. It is obvious that the problem algorithm suffers from two drawbacks. The first one, there are many redundant computation during the traversal. Since each node may traverse to any other node to identify the probability several times. And the second one is that the length of a square root C walk determine the computation costs where this length can be quite large. 
To overcome these drawbacks, we use the following key idea. We first constrain the length of square root c walk to L max, uh, where L max is set as a function of c for guaranteeing error bound. With the help of the limited length, we can compute a reverse reachable tree for the source u, and then we iteratively generate a square root c walk for each node v to identify whether it can hit this limited square root c walk path from u with a non negligible probability. Intuitively, this process will significantly reduce the redundant computation since it traverses the reachable tree for only the source u instead of traversing the graph for each node. Although the walk length is constrained, we are still able to obtain same run estimators with the same guaranteeing error bound of the probsim algorithm. Then we formally define the error bound. It is shown like this. Next, we use this graph to illustrate our crash sim algorithm. For simplicity, we set the decay factor c to 0 0.25, such that the square root c is 0 0.5. We first generate the reverse reachable tree for the source a, and suppose that the limited length of the square, square root c walk is 4. At the same time, the probability of the square root c walk stopping at different nodes with different lengths will be computed. Due to the basic philosophy of sim rank, this is equal to 1. Then we compute the square root c walk stopping at b with one step, and it is 0 0.25. The square root c walk stopping at c with one step is this. It is similar to that of level 2 and level 3. When computing the same rank scores between A and C, suppose that at the case trio, the square root C walk starting from U from C is the CDBA. And the probability of the WC crashing WA is the same rank score in the case, tri case trio. And this is the result. After NR times, the crash same algorithm will get the same rank estimators between A and C. This theorem proves that an ab absolute error still holds with a probability after constraining the length of square root C walk. Due to time limitation, the detailed proof can be found in the paper. Next, we analysis the time com complexity of the crash same algorithm. Recall that it first generates a reverse reachable tree for the source u, which costs OM. Then the crash same algorithm has NR iterations, and in the case trio, it would visit each node in the candy node set omega, and it will cost this. And the total time complexity is shown like this. Next, I will introduce the algorithm to solve the uh, temporal same run queries. To compute the uh, same rank over temporal graph, there are two opportunities to further improve the efficiency of query sim for temporal same rank queries. The first one is that due to the small changes between adjacent same shots in temporal graphs, it is unnecessary to compute the same rank between u and the candidate sets omega at each time instant. And the second one is that the size of the omega of the no set omega that can only gradually reduce over time. Hence, it is unnecessary to compute the same rank of all the nodes, since we may only need the same rank estimators of the source u and the partial set of nodes. Based on this, we extend the crash sim algorithm to solve the temporal same rank queries, since it naturally supports the computation of the same rank of the source u and the partial set of nodes. We also have two pruning rules to further utilize these two opportunities. The first one is the delta pruning. We first define the affected area of a changed edge. The first part is the changed nodes in the reverse digital tree of the U, and the second part is the Lmax minus one length reachable nodes of Y. And the delta pruning is to reduce recomputation by ignoring the nodes of an unaffected area. Here is a running example. 
Suppose that the L max is true and the reverse reachable, reachable tree of A is shown like this. If we delete an H, H to F, the reverse reachable tree of A remains unchanged. Meanwhile, since F has no odd neighbors, so the L max minus one length reachable nodes of F is F itself. Therefore, only the same rank scores of A and F will be changed after deleting this H. The second pruning rule is the difference pruning. It is obvious that the SUV only depends on WU and WV, so the related area of the SUV is the LMAX length reverse reachable tree of U and V. The difference pruning is to filter out those nodes whose related area is unchanged. There is also a running example. Suppose that um, the L max is equal to two and the candy node set only contains E. If we add an H G to F, this re reverse reachable tree remains unchanged. So there is no need to recompute the same rank scores of A and E. With the help of these pruning rules, we have our question T algorithm, and the main idea is shown like this. Next, uh, I will show our experiments and the conclusion. These are the data sets we used. And we will compare our CRASIM algorithm to these three algorithms. As for the CRASIM algorithm, we vary the parameter C to vary from this to this. By varying the value of the parameter, we can examine the trade-off between query efficiency and accuracy of the CRASIM algorithm. For single snapshot, we use time cost and maximum error to evaluate our method. For temporal simran queries, we also use the time cost and this precision to evaluate our method. And this is the experimental results in the static graph. We can find that the time increase gradually for crash sim, but the maximum error declines when varying the parameter from 0 0.1 to 0 0.0125. We also observe that the crash sim with this, these three parameters have fattest response time. And the crash sim algorithm with these two parameters has lower maximum error. And this is the results in the temporal simran queries. Among the competitors, Quercim T provides the highest appreciation because the Quercim T has the error bound in every snapshot and the pruning rules still hold the error bound. And this is the last experiments to show the impact of the query interval on the response time of the algorithms. Quercim T also has the fattest response time during the entire query interval since it has the lowest time complexity on a single snapshot and reduces the unnecessary computation over the adjacent snapshots by employing the pruning rules. At last, I will give our conclusion. We first propose a crash sim algorithm, an, an index-free algorithm for single source and partial Simran computation in static graphs. And then we introduce the crash sim T algorithm and ex extension to crash sim to solve Simran queries over temporal graphs. And at last, the experiments show that both crash sim and crash sim T outperform the state of the art algorithms. That's all. Thank you.